Welcome to my channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about Korn's third album, Follow the Leader. This, when it came out, was a real big deal. It kicked open the door for so many alternative metal and new metal bands to break into the mainstream. So without further ado, let's get into the breakdown. So first, let's start off with Jonathan Davis. Vocally, he's not as aggressive as he was on Life is Peachy, but he does a killer job. Lyrically, we have many of the same themes dark personal stuff and we have to add on top songs about the burdens of fame and the pressures that one feels in life now for the guitars with head and monkey they sort of perfect the whole style of playing off each other they're starting to do some pretty intricate stuff in their playing the riffs are really awesome they add more pedal effects to their arsenal so sonically we have a lot of interesting sounds that we get in these songs. Feedly slap percussive style sort of finds its zenith on Got the Life and on the break of Freak on the Leash. And in general, like, he just kills it on this album. Last but not least, David Silveria's drumming is just top notch. He knocks it out of the park on this album. Now for the track list of this album, I have to say that it rocks pretty hard, but two or three tracks now, as an adult, I go back to them and the lyrics are just way too cringe and they don't work for me but the rest I find very enjoyable. The production to this album is just fantastic. It has a ton of really interesting details on each track like if you sit down and listen to the mix you're going to find new stuff every time you go back to each one of the songs. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it.